Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TMM Appliance Network Tech Talk. Today we're going to be talking about a little story I want to share with you guys. I had a customer complain to me that their uh, Whirlpool was uh, bouncing around and it was giving them a error code. Well, when I got here I determined that it was the suspension rods, which are these guys here. How I determined that was I pushed down and the thing started boop, 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 bouncing all over the place. But notice now you push down and it just does one up and down solid bounce. But I, I, I'm not here to teach that. What I'm here to teach is that I had the customer tell me that they can do it themselves and they saw it on YouTube and it looks relatively easy and you know. I charge my prices. The reason I charge my prices as a professional because yes, YouTube teaches you how to replace it. But what a professional offers is if you notice here this uh, tech manual here has something called uh, calibration mode let me zoom in okay now if you notice it says let me try to get my camera to zoom in calibration must be performed with any of the following components have been uh, replaced main control basket drive assembly suspension uh-huh not performing calibration will put uh, result in poor performance now you can do this repair and you're not gonna do the calibration and no problem um but the performance won't be the same so we're gonna go ahead now all right let's plug this in we're gonna do that calibration and this is why a professional is more recommended than doing it yourself so we have it here on rinse okay it's gonna do a calibration mode how I did that just to show you I went into the diagnostic left right 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 left right I came to calibration mode which is spin and then once you do that unit will go in calibration mode and it will do that for a few set for like a minute or two and now your unit is good and once you do that then the job is done correctly so that's why it's always recommended to do the job with a professional as opposed to doing it yourself because professionals pride themselves on knowing the nuances and knowing like everything associated with the repair all right y'all there you have it another episode of tmm appliance network tech talk division make sure you check out our uh, Patreon, please show support to our channel. If you support us, please go to tmmacademics.com. Please show support to the channel. Until then, in the meantime, in between time, I'm your host with the most, Brother B. Love, Peace, Harmony, signing out.